Nestled in the Pacific Ocean is a land of islands, 7,107 islands to be exact. Discovered by Magellan in 1521, this archipelago was claimed for Spain and named for its King Philip II in 1565. It would be hundreds of years before it became the Republic of the Philippines, a sovereign nation birthed by the Treaty of Manila after World War II. Presently, its 97 million people inhabit the only Christian country in Asia. Of course, Christian means that Christianity is allowed and practiced by a good portion of its people. There is still much Hindi and Islamic influence as well. This land is the seventh most populated Asian country and twelfth in the world. A land teeming with people in need of Christ and in need of help in so many ways. The Philippines is located south of Taiwan, east of Vietnam, and north of Borneo and Indonesia in the midst of what is known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. Volcanoes and earthquakes are a part of life that must be expected and planned for as much as possible. Many facets of this beautiful land position it to be a prime location for ministry by Illuminate Ministries. First, it is the third largest English-speaking country in the world with many of its peoples able to be ministered to, taught, and discipled in English. Second, we have an incredible open door via Dr. and Mrs. Dick Aguas, a local physician and his wife who were born, raised, and educated there. They have a family there and land for developing a ministry. Mostly, they have a heart for their own people and a deep, God-given call to give back to this land. Third, we have a growing team who desire to go to a place of need, meet that need, and minister the love of Christ. God's calling is sure, and it is time. On December 26, 2013, our team will fly out of Dallas and head to Manila. Our plan is as follows. First, we will provide medical and dental ministry on four different days at different locations over the trip of two weeks. With a team of doctors and dentists from the U.S. and the Philippines, people will be able to access health care. In the process, we plan to visit with and pray with many of them. We will play with children and share with parents, using every opportunity to witness. Second, we go to bring the ministry of teaching, sharing, and exhortation to the people in the churches, hosting several conference times where we will soak messages of hope, encouragement, and challenge to the work already established here. Third, we will begin to develop a four-acre plot of land near Lippa, a place for an orphanage and Christian conference center to be. Our team will include young men ready to dive into construction. It is incredible timing that the Lord has already provided a location for such a ministry. Fourth, we will donate the funds for the first of what we hope will be many needed water wells in mountain villages. We have one location in mind at present, a village of people who will not come down the mountain for ministry because they have no way to bathe. Such a basic need that can be met by a few hundred dollars. Fifth, we will pray and seek the Lord for places where we could help plant a new church, a new inroad to the kingdom of God. Our hearts are turning to the Orient, to a beautiful people who need Christ and need the body of Christ to come alongside. We have a strong team of servants and teachers, children's workers and medical personnel. But you can help by praying for us and giving to this work. We need Bibles and medical supplies, concrete for construction and funds for water wells. We need to raise the support for a nurse and a set of dorm parents for an orphanage. Illuminate Ministries is a new organization. This is our first mission trip, but our hearts are full of love for a lost and needy world, and the door has opened wide to the Philippines. The Philippines is called the Pearl of the Orient, Christ taught a parable about a pearl of great price. A man sold all he had to purchase one pearl. This particular pearl is now sitting in the palm of Christ's hand, and he is holding it out for his church to come in and claim it for him. You can be a part of this mighty work.